Let's talk about checkpoints within the cell cycle. At a vehicle checkpoint, the car is going to be stopped and someone's going to make sure everything is okay. If everything in the car or what's being searched for is okay, then the car can go through. If the car doesn't pass the checkpoint, it will be stopped, maybe searched. There's a lot of things that can go on these checkpoints. Make that analogy with cell cycle checkpoints. During certain points of the cell cycle, there will be checkpoints to make sure everything is going okay. And there will be proteins that will decide if the cell can continue in the cell cycle or be stopped. Now, there are three main checkpoints within the cell cycle. The M phase checkpoint is going to occur during mitosis. What's going to happen during this checkpoint is proteins within the cell are going to check to make sure the spindle fibers have attached to the chromosomes correctly and they aligned along the metaphase plate. If these things haven't happened, the cell will try to fix them and if they can't fix them, they will stop the cell from continuing. Remember that this ensures that the daughter cells will have the correct number of chromosomes and everything it needs to develop as a cell. During the G1 checkpoint, the cell is going to make sure that there is enough room and enough organelles for replication. The cell will also check if there is DNA damage, but this is just to make sure that everything within the cell is working correctly. And if this cell doesn't pass the G1 checkpoint, it will be put in cell arrest, which means it will not continue through the cell cycle. During the G2 checkpoint, the cell is going to make sure that DNA replication has occurred, and it's going to check for DNA damage because the DNA damage or mutations to the DNA could lead to the cell becoming cancerous. So basically all of these checkpoints help to make sure that the processes within the cell cycle are going to plan.